Welcome to Module 18. In this part of the course, we'll talk about session fixation attacks. Session fixation is a subclass of session hijacking. Session hijacking involves the interception of a victim's session ID. Session fixation occurs when an attacker finds a way to make a victim, who has access to an attacked service, use a valid session ID supplied by the attacker. If the victim assumes the session ID and is correctly authorized in the attacked service, the attacker could take over the session and gain service access. This is possible in the standard PHP session mechanism. If a user has no session history saved in the cookies and the ID is sent through the GET request, it will be adopted as the new session ID. Let's see a sample script which illustrates this scenario. You can see here two files. Admin login PHP simulates the behavior of a script which logs users into a control panel. It sets the admin variable used to identify the administrator in a session variable. Test PHP is the second script. The script checks if the admin session variable is set. If it is, the message hacked will be displayed. If it is not, not hacked will be displayed. The echo session ID function, which shows the current PHP session ID, is also set for transparency. Let's now see how this vulnerability works. As you can see, a potential hacker wouldn't be able to access the service. The message not hacked is displayed. Session ID is also displayed. The ID could also be obtained by using the live HTTP headers add-on. As you can see, the same session ID has been set in the PHP SES ID cookie. Let's use it now. Assume that a cracker has lured an administrator into clicking on a crafted link. The link looks like this. The administrator has logged into the service, and as you can see, the PHP SES ID variable containing the attacker's session ID has been passed in the URL. Let's see what the effects of this are on the attacker's side. As you can see, the attacker has gained service access. How can we protect ourselves against these attacks? Preventing session fixation uses similar methods to those recommended for session hijacking. Above all, it is crucial to recheck a user's IP address and other user-unique data. The frequent regeneration of session IDs, or at least the regeneration of session IDs after successful login, is also helpful. By doing this, we make sure that once a new ID has been generated, the ID known by the attacker will become invalid. That's all in Module 18. The next module will discuss the phishing concept. Thanks for your attention, and see you later.